Welcome to Johnny Fandom, where I talk about all things fandom, such as Disney, Pixar, Star Wars, and Harry Potter. Today, we are going to talk about one of the most famous rodents in Disney. No, not Mickey Mouse. We are going to talk about Ratatouille. So, make sure you hit the like button, hit the sky button, and let's get into today's video. Today we are talking about Ratatouille and the fact that Ratatouille. So today we're going to talk about Ratatouille and how Ratatouille is just a fantastic concept. And we're going to dive into not only Gaston's success, but Linguini's success. And also we're going to dive into the fact that why Anton Ego loves the Ratatouille dish so much. So, without further ado, let's talk about the film. In the beginning of the film, we obviously see Remy and his family, you know, living in the countryside where they steal food from this little old lady in this nice little house. And we see Remy has this unique ability to be able to smell the food and tell what ingredients are in it, and he just has the knack for cooking. Therefore, he's a great cook in general. And we see him stealing a recipe book from this old lady's house. This is me. I think it's apparent I need to rethink my life a little bit. What's my problem? We'll get back to the recipe book in a little bit. But let's talk about how Remy eventually makes his way to Gasto's restaurant where he meets Linguini and he figures out that Linguini can't cook for crap. Like, he can't. So he helps him with this dish secretly where the person who eats the dish at the restaurant says, this is fantastic, I love it. And there's a whole controversy between Linguini and Jeff Skinner and there's a lot of tension there, but we'll get to that again in a moment. So we start learning that if Remy pulls on Linguini's hair, he can control his every movement, and therefore he can perform the cooking duties he needs to do to make the dishes fantastic. And then we see another part, you know, so we, we ah, let's backtrack to the past of Gaston. Gasto is known as the youngest five-star restaurant in history. But what if he couldn't cook at first in general? What if he, like Linguini, had the ability to be controlled like a puppet by pulling his hair? Gasto also had a rat who could cook in the same sense that Remy could cook in order to teach Gasto and help Gasto with his success. In the beginning of the film, we see this magazine cover. If you zoom in, you can see the hat is falling off his head, and there's a shadow that connects the hat to his head. It's very hard to tell and very blurry, but it could be a rat, because the normal hat ends at the certain point on the circle on the bottom of the hat, and then there's a shadow, looks like it's something attached to his hair, in between the his head and the hat. This could be a rat. If this is a rat and it has the same concept of pulling, you know, Gaston's hair, the same way Remy pulls with Greedy's hair, this could be the reason that Gaston has the success that he has. So, Gaston's success and with the ability to cook came from a rat, just like Remy. However, we see that Gesto couldn't cook at first because of his recipe book that he had in the restaurant of recipes that they haven't used before or haven't used in ages because they were so terrible. So, 
Chef Skinner wants to try to sabotage Linguini by saying, hey, we'll do a, we'll do a, a, a recipe. We'll see how well you can cook. Want to guess those famous dishes? Here you go. It gives him this weird dish which has licorice sauce and a bunch of other gross ingredients in it. And even one of the other chefs says, you know, Skinner, that, that, that dish is disgusting. And even Gasto said it was a bust. However, with the help of Remy, Linguini is able to take this nice raspberry sauce and put a glaze on it and make the di this dish that sounds disgusting sound fantastic. So this recipe from Gasto could have been an old recipe that he had created when he didn't really know much about cooking before he had the help of his own rat. Let's take a moment and take a quick word from our sponsor today. Our sponsor today is Magic Candle Company. If you love the smell of the Disney parks, I love going on Pirates of the Caribbean, Splash Mountain, Haunted Mansion, and getting those different smells as you're walking, as you're going through the attractions. It, you know the smell of pirates, you know, the smell of the water. It's different than when you go into Haunted Mansion, you get that musty, old, cobwebby smell. It's fantastic. If you want to bring those smells home with you, now you can. Candlecompany.com. Coupon code Wonderful Wood with Johnny. You save yourself 10% off your order. But they don't only have candles, they also have wonderful room sprays, such as. They have, sorry, they have wonderful room sprays. They even have hand sanitizer. This is Dole Whip smell hand sanitizer. It smells like the Dole Whip you get in the park. They also have fragrance oils. Anything that you can think of. They have a car freshener. I have a car freshener of Splash, which unfortunately Splash Mountain is no longer here, but I have a air freshener that smells like Splash Mountain in my truck at the moment. So, if you love the smell of Disney and any other fandom, they also have smells uh, of like broomstick and magical potions of Harry Potter. They also have Universal Studios smells. You can get a Jaws one. You can get all sorts of fandom smells. This is the perfect. If, you, if you're watching this video right now and you love fandoms of all sorts, Harry Potter, Star Wars, Disney, Pixar, the works, the fandom works of the entire world, Magic Candle Company has a smell for you. Whatever your fandom is, whatever your smell and your desire to smell is, they have a smell for you. So go check out MagicCandleCompany.com. Use coupon code WORLDOFJOHNNY and save yourself 10% off on your order today. Let's get back to the... So as we were talking, you know, Gaston couldn't cook until he had the help of a rat. Supposedly. That's the theory. So, in the future, we see Linguini getting the help of a rat to create this fantastic dish. The, and there is also another thought that, you know, they have a DNA test involved taking Gaston's old chef hat to try to connect the DNA to Remy. They find a rat hair and they have to redo the test. There's no point in the movie where they actually see them getting a hair from Linguini's hat. You know, we see him trying to, you know, sneak his hat and, you know, try to find the rat, but can't find him. But I wonder if the DNA of the rat hair that they found was not on Linguini's hat, but on Gaston's hat. So they had to redo the test with another hair that actually was Gesto's so they can track the DNA back to Linguini. So the hair that they found on Gesto's hat originally was in fact a rat hair that could explain that Gesto actually in fact did have a rat of his own. Now, Jeff Skinner didn't realize this and thought, rat hair? I know what that is. That is Remy's rat. But no, it was in fact Gesto's rat. Now, I'm going back and forth here. So, in the current story, we know that Remy, we see Remy controlling Linguini to create these fantastic dishes and become a great chef, just as Gaston did. And we see that 
in this current story, Gaston's restaurant is falling. It is collapsing. It's not becoming as popular, especially with the critic of Anton Ego shutting down and saying, this food sucks. So the popularity of the restaurant is not as popular. Popularity is not as popular. You get what I'm saying. Anyway, so when Greenies, fantastic food, is starting to bring the popularity back up. And he invites Anton Ego back to try the dish where he creates the ratatouille. And when Anton Ego eats this fantastic dish, he is taken back to his childhood. Where we see him standing in the doorway of his house and looking in on his mother cooking a fantastic dish of ratatouille. And it just brings him back to his childhood and why he loves it so much. And it just hits him right in the face. And he is like, this is fantastic. This is great. Best restaurant. Best food ever. Best dish ever. I love it. And the reason it takes him back to his childhood is because... In the beginning of the movie, we see Remy stealing a book from a certain little house in the country. This is the exact same house that Anton grew up in. This old lady who ends up shooting at Remy and his family while they're trying to get down the river and get out of the storm is Anton's mother. She is the same old lady from the beginning of the story. So, the cookbook that Remy stole to figure out how to cook ratatouille was Anton Ego's mother's cookbook. So that is why Remy was able to replicate the exact recipe of Anton Ego's mother's recipe because he stole the recipe from Anton Ego's mother. So that is why Anton Ego loved the dish so much is because it was his mother's recipe. And that's why I took him back to his childhood and you know, I, I love how the story, just everything connected, the beginning of the film, connect to the end of the film, and the fact that, you know, it's a family thing with the hair pulling, which is kind of weird. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below. Comment down below because I answer every single comment. So, thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. Make sure you check out this video up here and that video down there. And make sure you check out my merch store down below. I have tons of great stuff in there. Also, make sure you check out my Patreon page where I have content on there just for you. And if you hit that join button on YouTube, I also have content on there just for you. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.